The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, two fine fellas with the uh, Local 63 uh, Quincy Firefighters Union. Welcome guys. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. So Stephen Wewell and Matt Reynolds, and you guys are here to talk about something. Uh, this isn't your first visit here, right? And mm -hmm. it definitely isn't your first go around with Blacklight Bingo, because as I just asked you, uh, how many years you've been doing it? You said well over 10, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And it's not always for the same um, cause. You guys always raise money for a great cause. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, it's MDA, right? Yep. Muscular dystrophy. That's usually every December we do that one. So Yeah, which is great. Uh, this year, uh, the Blacklight Bingo is benefiting the St. Louis Children's Hospital, which is also phenomenal, yep. phenomenal cause. It is. It's a great cause. If, um, if anybody's ever been there, you, you can understand the, the great things they do for children when they come there. When you first arrive, they put somebody with you to help ease your child. You depend on the situation. They got child life services. They put somebody with them to help. They have to have procedures, whatever it is, to try to ease their, their mind and keep them calm and keep them relaxed when they're in that situation. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've had to experience that, and it's a, it's a, a great place to be. And, and they, with the parents and the children, it's they do a lot of great things. Yeah. So. Yeah, great place to be in a terrible situation, though, yep. right? So uh, it's it's awesome that you guys are raising money, uh, of course, for St. Louis St. Louis Children's Hospital. But it's it's really cool the way you do it. So Blacklight Bingo, it's just like it sounds, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's bigger than that because people that. First of all, people that bingo, anyone who bingos and anyone who's ever seen anyone bingo, they get real serious about it. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes, they do. They, yeah. And then <laughs> add in black light, and then it's like serious fun. So you have the, the go-getters that love the bingo, and mm -hmm. then you have the go-getters who love the fun, and then you have people there uh, who are there to support your cause. Yep. So it's like best case scenario. It's a party. Yeah, it it's is. a huge party. Yeah. Yep. Uh, if you've never experienced it, it's a great thing to come to. All the lights are shut off. Black lights come on. Um a lot of times people miss their bingos because they're having too much fun. Other than that, we got DJs that come up. They uh, play music. They try to get you to come up and dance for your prize. You don't have to, but if you, they like to come up and have you do that just to add some fun to it. They, yeah. uh, we play other games. We have 50-50. We do a last man standing uh, bingo game, which basically is you don't want your number called. It's reverse bingo where – you basically do not want your number called. If you're the last one standing up, you win a prize. Really? Yep. That's it's, cool. It's something different. For so. the unlucky people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me. I don't yeah. know if I've ever gotten a bingo in my life, but I could def maybe I could get that. Yeah. That's a great, that's a, that's it's really a lot cool. Of fun. Everybody enjoys. I mean, we, we've had great compliments every time. I mean, everybody has a great time when they're there. We're yeah. Sold out every time. Uh, we still got some tickets left. If people want to come, you know, give me a call or text me. Uh, that'd be great to uh, get some tickets. Yeah. So, okay, it's Saturday, March 9th, mm -hmm. and it's at the Elks, which is normally where you guys hold it, right, yep. which is a great facility. Uh, it's it's large enough and accommodating, but it's still – I think it's still uh, – a, a good size to keep everybody in the same spot so you don't yep. feel like you're too far away from anything. Exactly. You could hear really well, yep. uh, hear those bingo numbers being called. Um, so, yeah, Saturday, March 9th uh, at the Elks. It starts at – doors open at 5, right? Yep, Here, and the bingo guys, starts yeah. at 7. So okay. the doors open because we have raffle baskets there. We have tons of different prizes. Uh, Children's just got me uh, four field box tickets to the Cardinals game with UMB Champions Club passes. That's going to be there. Wow. Uh, it's a $500 value. Havings Lawn Care donated a 60-volt Super Recycler Toro mower. Uh, lawnmower with a chainsaw and a blower. Uh, we've got some great prizes, raffle prizes. We're gonna raffle off too. So yeah. that's something too. Bring bring your money to to buy raffle chances. We also do a candy bar raffle, which is we sell so many candy bars at five dollars a piece, and then they pull out numbers. And if you got the candy bar with that number on it, you can win a prize too. Or like a lot of times we have a lottery ticket bundle. Okay. Which you can win or two or three of them it just depends on how many donations we get and the kind of money we have coming in. Sometimes we'll have one or two. Sometimes we'll have three or four. So it just varies. So, so lots of stuff in addition to bingo. Yep. Now, you mentioned that you always sell out, which is uh, is a great problem to have. Yes. But it is a problem for anybody wanting to do it that, yep. that kind of waits till last minute. So uh, if somebody wants to get a ticket or a table, how do they go about doing that? Uh, just give me a call at 
888-382-4234. You can call me or shoot me a text. I need your name, uh, number of tickets you want. Eight tickets reserves a table. Um, we can put you put up to 10 at a table. It gets a little tight because of round tables. Yeah. All of our long tables are already sold out for this year. So some people will do 20 people at a table or 15, just depends. But uh, we still have, you know, I, I can't think off the top of my head. But we have a handful of tables left. Yeah, but they'll go quick. Yes. Yeah, they normally do. Yes, uh, do. And the event's coming up uh, relatively quickly, too. So make sure you reach out to the guys and uh, get your ticket, get your table, get your uh, blacklight attire because people dress up. Right. They go all out. Yep. I mean, the pictures that I've seen, it's a packed house. Everybody's wearing like fun hats and their faces are painted. And it just it seems like a, yep. a yeah, blast. We hand out, like when you your ticket gets you all your bingo stuff you need to play a dauber, um, a glow in the dark hat, like a fedora bracelet, necklace, something like that. So we give you stuff when you come in the door. Some people bring additional stuff. So it's it's a good time. That's that's the main yeah. purpose. So no limit, no limit to how much fun you can have and play bingo, which is you know it's kind of sounds like a, a side note, but it's not. And then of course benefiting a great cause, uh, which is the St. Louis Children's Hospital. So yeah, Blacklight Bingo. Make sure you get your tickets. Get a hold of the guys here. Uh, March 9th. It is coming right up. It's a great time and for a great cause. Thank yep. you guys so and much. And I'm hoping our, we beat our goal of last year. We raised over thirteen thousand last year. Holy smokes! I'm hoping to break that this year. So. Yeah. I think we can help that, right? I hope so. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and even if you can't make it, they can also donate, right? Yeah, they can donate. Uh, they want to sponsor whatever it is, you know, however they would like to do it. You know, all the all the proceeds go to children. So, Perfect. only thing that comes out of the money would be any type of expenses or anything like that we might have. But there's very that's like the DJ stuff like that. Yeah. Once he recycles a huge supporter, they've supported us each time. They've paid for the DJs each time. So, you know, shout out to them because that's, that's awesome. a big help when they when they pay for that. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, anything people can do, that'd be great. So. Yeah. So always looking for sponsors, donations, uh, or anybody looking for a great time, reach out to these guys, get your, get your tickets, get your table for Blacklight Bingo, March 9th, benefiting St. Louis Children's Hospital, uh, put on by the awesome guys at the Quincy Firefighters Local 63 Union, right? Yep. Thank yeah. you guys so much. Good luck and have a blast. Thank you. All right. Coming up, I sit down with husband and wife duo, Jenna and Todd Hendrickson to talk a little bit more about Clean Eats. Stay tuned. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite appetizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive-up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. What kind of shows will you see on Muddy River Gems each month? The same award-winning storytelling from Mark McDonald and crew that you enjoyed for nearly 20 years on PBS. Muddy River Gems with host Mark McDonald. A new episode every month online from Muddy River News. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. And welcome back. Joining me now, we have Jenna and Todd Hendrickson. Welcome, guys. Hi. Okay, so uh, you are with uh, something that I just discovered on Facebook not too long ago, and I'm super excited to talk about it. So thank you for being here. Uh, this is, of course, Clean Eats, yes. right? Yep. Okay, so I called it Clean Eats Cafe because I did see a menu, and I'm not sure if that's even the name. Why don't you guys – is that – did I get that right? Is it Clean Eats Cafe? Yep. Okay. Clean Eats Cafe. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so 
can you give me just like a quick rundown of what Clean Eats Cafe is and uh, just a little bit of info? Mm -hmm. Go for it. All right, so we are, it's a, a brand based on assisting all people wherever you're at in your health and wellness goals. Just achieve those a little bit easier because food is one of the hardest things. Yeah. Um, we'll offer a sitting cafe. We'll have custom meal planning that you'll have six new meals every week come out. Um, we have frozen grab and goes, similar to like the Clean Eats Kitchen meals. Okay. Um, most people are familiar with uh -huh. that. And then we also have catering and a snack and smoothie line too. Okay. So it's basically healthier food. And we were talking off camera, right? That health healthy food looks different to everyone. Mm -hmm. That's what you said, yeah. right? Which I love. I love yeah. that because it's true. Um, but it is basically making it easier for people to attain healthier food in whatever in whatever aspect that looks like to them. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And you mentioned takeaway food. So I know that a lot of people have seen uh, different services or companies that offer food uh, meals to go, right? Mm -hmm. But this is more than that. So it's helping to meal plan. It's helping to uh, kind of wrap your arm. So like if I'm on a, you know, a journey where I want to start eat eating healthier, which could be I want less additives, right? Uh, I want cleaner, which, yeah, cleaner eats, right? Yeah. Uh, so I would get a hold of you guys and kind of tell you what I'm looking for, and you would help guide me in that arena. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And then, so you offer uh, meal planning, but you also offered those meals. Frozen, yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. The weekly meal plans are fresh. Okay. They are not frozen. They're made in cafe fresh. And then we'll also have frozen options. So if, you know, you didn't place your weekly meal plan, you can come into the cafe and grab the frozen grab and goes. Okay. And it's, you know, tip pretty much the same thing as the fresh grab and goes. They're just not the fresh meals. They're right. Frozen. So, so now are you guys cooking these meal? How does that work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're cooking all of them in cafe. Um, and you know, we'll prep them up. Everything is made in the cafe. So cool. Very yeah. cool. Uh, so and we are mentioning a cafe. Are you eventually going to have a sit down place where you can come in and eat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We are going to be, um, we're shooting for the end of August. Huh? Um, and we're going to be at 4490 Broadway and it's in between Jimmy John's and Commerce Bank. Okay. Excellent. I love, I love this idea. I've already been scoping out the menu. If you haven't seen it, follow the Facebook page. It's Clean Eats, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Clean um, Eats Quincy, Illinois. Yep. yep. Clean Eats Quincy, Illinois. They have, um, you guys have a fantastic menu. Uh, and there are pictures on there now, which I was like, Ooh, I was getting hungry. So can you give us just an idea of some things that will be offered for uh, both in your cafe, like sitting, you know, if I came for lunch, let's say, or if I wanted to do um, the takeaway meals. Can you give yeah. us some ideas of things yeah, that are offered? so on the menu, um, just a couple options. We have, you know, salads. We have build your own bowls. We have burgers, so bison burgers, black bean burgers. If you're a vegetarian, a black bean burger is a great option. Um um, what else turkey is there? Burgers. Turkey burgers. Um, and we have wraps. We'll have wraps and um, like flatbreads for the cafe portion and much more. Sure. Just off the top of my head. Right. Um, and then with the frozen grab and goes and meals, um, fresh, fresh meals. There's so much variety. It's broad. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, tons. Probably like well over sixteen hundred. But like options. casseroles and dinners that have like portioned out, um, let's say like different food groups, mm -hmm. right? So it's not just going to be the same thing right. every week. Yes. No, we'll yeah. actually carry. I'm going to set a standard for roughly sixty different varieties in the grab and goes. So okay. There'll be sixty different labels in there when you go in and look. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, and okay, so. I know that the, the variety spans, you know, a broad spectrum, but as far as like, because eating healthy is not always cheap, right? Mm -hmm. So we love the convenience, but as far as like a price range, do you know kind of, I mean, it, to me it looked relatively yeah. affordable, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The cafe portion is, I mean, priced well. We have some items that are about $11, $12, but most of our options in cafe are under $10. Right. Um, and they're great portion sizes, too. And then with the um, grab-and-go um, meal plans, mm -hmm. it, it the price ranges. If you get less, it's a little bit more. But if you get more options, I think it, it's 21 meals. It's going to cost like $121. Wow. So, totally affordable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so you can do for your family or for an individual. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. 
This is awesome. Uh, what made you guys decide to want to do this? Man, so <laughs> I started, I guess, my fitness journey probably five years ago. And as things kind of like progressed and I got a little bit further along, I guess, uh, food became like one of those things that was kind of holding me back from progressing in the gym. And so then I started doing it myself and it's, I'm not creative or was not creative right. on my own. So I was eating the same thing all the time. Tuna, was, chicken. It thing. was just horrible. <laughs> yeah. Nine o'clock, so. 11 o'clock, three o'clock. Right? It's chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. Chicken day. and rice. Uh, day, yeah. so four some, years. And I'm well, like, how do you eat I, yeah. chicken and rice all day, every day? And that's why, like, I commend people that, you know, that especially that, you know, you, you're on this journey to, you know, get healthier, but then you find a love for uh, nutrition and working out and actually building muscle and, you know, along that health care. So it's, sometimes it's the purpose, but sometimes it's the side effect is like, you know, you're getting healthier, but then you're also building lean muscle. But yeah, eating, I can't even, that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons that I'm not like, yeah, uh, go gym. But uh, I love, you know, I love the concept of eating healthier with variety because, mm -hmm. yeah, I just can't imagine eating the same thing yeah. constantly. Healthy, healthy food doesn't have to suck. They, <laughs> there you go. That should be your motto, yeah. right? Yeah. It, yeah. it doesn't, and it shouldn't. It should be affordable. It should be uh, more convenient. Unfortunately, it's not most places, so I think yeah. this is going to be outstanding for Quincy and the surrounding community. Yeah. This is this is awesome. Um, so you mentioned wanting to open the, the cafe August-ish. We all know things happen, right? Uh, now, is that when the takeaways and stuff will start to become available? Is yes. is when the cafe opens? Yep. Okay, everything will be yeah available once ca doors are open. Okay, mm -hmm. so when people, if I want to like meal plan for my family of four, how like how far in advance do I reach out to you, or how does that work? Yeah, so we do um, we do orders Sunday through I believe Thursday, okay. and you can order that Sunday, and you'll pick up say Monday or Tuesday, you can pick up that week. Gotcha. Yeah. Through our app. Through our app. Oh. Um, and it was just, the website's cleaneats.com. Okay. And then you just, you know, I think you have to pick your, you know, your area. Which sure. We're not on there yet, but we will be. Okay. Um, and then you'll order your meal plans through the website. This is awesome. I'm really, yeah. I'm really stoked for this because I know, you know, Quincy is, um, I don't want to say an island, but we kind of are, right? We don't yeah. have like huge, we don't have access to, to, a lot of resources when it comes to clean eating and um yeah convenience right which I, yeah. I think that's just awesome that you guys are doing this anyway anyway yeah so clean eats uh thank you guys and really looking forward to it uh jenna and todd hendrickson now what so if people want more information they just go to your facebook page mm -hmm. which is what again clean clean I think it's Clean Eats Quincy, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you just go into Facebook and search Clean Eats with a Z yeah. Yeah. at the end, mm -hmm. uh, it'll pop up. Make sure to follow it. The um, the menu, the the pictures of the food that they're going to be offering, as well as kind of uh, just some more information about, you know, what you guys are doing and why I think mm -hmm. is really, really cool. So get out there, uh, follow Clean Eats of Quincy, uh, learn more, and get excited for August. This is going to be great. Yeah. We're yeah. stoked. All right. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you guys so much. Good luck. And I will you. definitely see you in August. Yeah. All right. Of course. All right. <laughs> I think that does it for today's Daily Muddy. We'll catch you back here tomorrow for more. Muddy River News, our home, our news.